Ideas are powerful. Here's my theory. Every time you get an idea, it's actually a message from yourself in the future. Think of it as your future self saying this, wake up, do this, do this right now. If you ignore these ideas, you're diverging from a path that your future self has laid out for you. These ideas, these thoughts that suddenly pop into your head, you got to ask yourself, where do they come from? Philosophically speaking, you could say that they come from God or they come from the universe or in a non-theistic sense, they're from your future self. That might sound a little bit out there, but consider this. The universe knows the past, the present, and the future. And it knows it all at once, right? So if you believe in God, believe that he wants us to succeed. He wants us to make the right choices. How often have you had a strong gut feeling, an intuition not to do something, like not go to an event, not go on the subway, and later you find out that something bad happened there? That's no coincidence. That was a thought in your head, that warning. That was your future self looking out for you. We're often taught about our five basic senses, but what about those moments that you can't explain that transcend them? Moments where we feel almost too connected beyond time and space. Right now I'm here speaking, yet I'm also reaching you wherever you are by using technology. I'm merely speaking words, but words are code. I'm putting sound into your ears, yet they're being understood and they're currently transcending physical space and time. You're understanding my thoughts. You're doing this by understanding a code that I've created at a later time than I'm recording this and in a space that I don't exist in. Whether you're making photographs or writing your thoughts or making a video, creation is powerful. And all creation started as an idea, even you. Therefore, ideas are even more powerful than the act of creating those ideas. Ideas are not just random thoughts, they're signals, they're roadmaps, they're messages, and often they're warnings or praise from your future self. When you ignore these signals, you're actually blindly choosing a different path and you're diverging from what might have been amazing. When you don't act on your ideas, you're actually changing your reality in a negative way. Sadly, most people have no clue about the importance of our ideas, which makes it impossible for them to use this incredible power. They stick to their routine, their mindset, their paradigm, and they ignore these profound intuitions. And then they wonder why their lives aren't changing. This is why mindset is everything. The moment that you shift your mindset, you open yourself up to success and you're listening to those intuitive thoughts and you're acting on them. But it takes courage to listen to your ideas and even more courage to act on them. The real change happens when you act on those brilliant ideas that appear inside your consciousness. I have a unique approach to teaching and communicating, obviously, which many might find a bit like a fire hose of information. Sometimes it knocks you over, but it's intense, it's focused, and it's abundant. I know that it might feel overwhelming at times, but this approach is integral to the learning journey that we're about to embark on. I carefully tailor and focus every single bit of information to suit your needs. I'm here to guide you through a stream of consciousness that's packed with tons of stuff that you need to know and understand. As I gain more understanding, I do my best to filter what I learn and I share it here. And also I tell you why it could be relevant to you. For those of you who are in my masterclass, you know the masterclass doesn't stop when the class ends. I provide you with my notes and I give you weekly resources afterwards. Something that I believe that is essential but never happens in teaching. When we're trying to build something, we need all the help that we can get. So make sure you're using all your resources. The members of my masterclass help me make my content monumentally better than it would be without exchanging with the pros that I work with this way. In exchange, I always over deliver. Your audience always tells you what they need and what they want. It's your job to give them more than expected of what they need and what they want. I like to think that every piece of content that I make is like a pile of sticks. I carefully bundle them together and I metaphorically throw them 
on your doorstep. And they're not just random sticks. They represent a structured knowledge that I've meticulously gathered for you. And on top of this bundle, I give you detailed instructions, the guidance that you need to navigate through this wealth of information. This pile of information, by the way, just gets bigger and bigger and more overwhelming if you aren't using the information that I give you right away to start building. Navigating through the immense flow of information in life is like sifting through a fire hose of data. It's critical to distinguish between what's important and what's not, especially for us creatives who are constantly scattered and we're buzzing with ideas. This is where the concept of the second brain comes in. It's a system to externalize, organize, and process our thoughts and our ideas effectively. Leave a comment, by the way, if you want me to deep dive more on the second brain theory and how you can use it in an upcoming video. Our personal problems, by the way, the obstacles that we face, they often seem like they're huge, insurmountable barriers. But here's the thing, they are in many ways just an illusion. When you spin your problems around or look at them from a different angle, yeah, they're still there, but their form changes. This is how we need to handle challenges, by holding them in our hand, examining them, and then setting them aside so we can gain a clearer, more focused perspective. Shifting perspective is not just about seeing things differently, it's about fundamentally altering our understanding of a situation. It's like standing in one spot, appreciating it, but then moving to another spot and realizing that the view from there is even better. It's about constantly looking at where you've been to gain new insights about where you should be going. We all have blind spots in life. Just like when we're driving, these blind spots are formed by our conditioning, our habitual ways of thinking and our habitual ways of doing things. They're so ingrained in us that often we don't even realize that they exist. But here's the kicker. These blind spots are where our failures sneak up on us. That's why it's crucial to shift our perspective, to step away from our usual viewpoints and see things from a fresh angle. People don't realize that our life, our creativity, our work, it's all a manifestation of something divine. We all come from a higher power. We're all creators in our own right. Think about it. We see something, we capture it. We save it forever or we have an idea and then we bring it to life through our photography and that idea is saved forever. That process of turning a concept into reality, that's divine. It's like planting a seed and nurturing it until it bears fruit for everybody to enjoy. And here's an important piece. Don't underestimate the value of what you create. If you don't see the value in your work, you'll hesitate to share it with the world. But the moment that you say, hey, I have this work and it's valuable, you open yourself up to new opportunities. If you wanna make commerce from your art, first start by valuing your art and then create art that has value. Walk this way and you'll start to transform how you see things. Remember, your work is giving the world value. And if you always bring value, whether it's a new perspective on street photography, product photography, portraits, or whatever it is your specific niche, we don't have to sell when we're making people aware of the transformation that they'll experience through our work and service. Remember, all of this, every single bit of your life and career boils down to mindset. Our brain, it's a computer. It's simply running the programs that we've downloaded by the people that raised us. We start downloading those programs the second that we have consciousness. What do we watch on TV? Programs. What do we download and run on our computer? Programs. Our brain is just a computer that's running the programs that we've downloaded from those that raised us. Our parents, our teachers, our friends. If your life isn't working, it might be time for you to make room for some newer and better programs. The moment that you shift how you think, how you perceive, you open doors to success and fulfillment that you never thought possible. That's the journey that I'm inviting you to join me on. A journey of shifting your perspective, seeing the divine in our creations and embracing the power of our mindsets. So I hope you'll stay with me. Prepare for a journey that's rich in real information for creatives like you. Also, 
My goal is to equip you with the tools and the understanding that you need. I hope your goal is to make the most of the information that I share here and apply it effectively in your creative business so you can flourish. Let's grow on this journey together. I promise I'll be here to guide you every step of the way. Thanks for watching.